What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Ask the Buffalo. It's the show where you can ask this guy, John Rettinger, any question you might have from the wide world of technology. We had a very busy week. Microsoft took the wraps off the next generation Xbox, the Xbox One. We're going to talk a lot about that. We're going to talk about some phone news maybe thrown in there, some personal stuff, and wrap it all up with a nice tech bow. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's get Ask the buffalo <laughs> All right, so the first question comes from our friend Josh. It's asked, hey, John, what is the future of GameStop and other retailers that sell used games? With what Microsoft has said about the price to buy a used game on top of the game price, will GameStop and others start to fade away after the last generation games fade away? To give a little bit of reference, so what was initially said when the Xbox One was announced was done an interview between Kotaku, which is a gaming site, and Microsoft's corporate vice president, Phil Harrison. Essentially, what they said was the fee for buying used games or borrowing one from a friend is going to be the full cost of the game. So if it's 60 bucks for retail, you'll have to pay 60 bucks in order to activate it. It's on top of whatever you paid the seller of the game initially. So a lot of money. Microsoft though appears to be issuing conflicting statements though. They've backtracked on that a little bit. The new word though is that what they explained was just a potential scenario. Here's the quote directly from Microsoft. So while Phil discussed many potential scenarios around games on Xbox One today, we've only confirmed that we designed the Xbox One to enable our customers to trade in and resell games at retail. So it looks like they did a, oh crap, are bad, people are pissed, let's backtrack a little bit, which is great. So what's gonna happen though, we really don't know. It looks like though there's going to be some sort of fee to trade in games or to play a game at a friend's house. Hopefully that's not gonna be the case, but it looks like we are heading that direction. So thumbs down Microsoft. This question comes from Ratul29 who asks, Hey, John, is it still worth buying the Xbox 360? What's the future for this console? And will games still be developed for it anymore? So Microsoft said there'll be Xbox 360 announcements at E3, but I wouldn't run out to buy an Xbox 360 right now, even if they dropped the dirt cheap. There probably will be new games that come out for it over the next six months, maybe even a year. We're not gonna see the Xbox One presumably until the holidays. But if you waited this long to buy a next gen console, wait until the Xbox One. Or wait a little bit after the Xbox One and maybe be able to buy a used Xbox One. But definitely I would not recommend buying an Xbox 360 right now. It just doesn't make sense. Hopefully, help answer your question. Next one comes from Twitter. User at one more tech asks, at John Four Lakers, what phone does your wife use? Well, that's an easy one to answer. She uses a white iPhone 4S with a pink bumper. Although she's pushing me for an upgrade to the five, so we'll probably get that one soon. Next question comes from Harshit Argwal who asks, John. What are your weekends like? Sometimes we get personal questions on here, so I'll share it. They're very, very boring. Uh, usually I will try and sleep as late as possible, which recently is like 10, 10.30. I'll make some coffee. I'll sit with my wife on the couch and we'll watch some TV for probably more than we should. We'll go out and run some errands, maybe go catch a movie, see some friends, and then come home, maybe take Lucy for a walk and go to bed. It's a pretty boring life. Uh, and in there, I'll probably play some new phones. I'll play a game. Uh, on the computer, or do something on a tablet, and that's really it. I'm kind of boring. Uh, I wish I did more exciting stuff. I should make up stories. Like, I go rock climbing, and then I go parasailing, and then I go base jumping off bridges, because that's just how I roll. But honestly, the reality is, I just like to sleep as much as humanly possible. I like to try and sleep. I've talked a lot about actually trying to deal with insomnia uh, over the years, and I think that I might actually have my insomnia kicked. Um, I've been able to sleep through the night for the past like two months, which for me is absolutely unheard of and it's like every night that I wake up and I've slept is a freaking blessing. So hopefully that continues. Hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Ask the Buffalo. We're back every week with new Ask the Buffalo questions. Every Tuesday, I'll put up an article on technobuffalo.com asking you to ask your questions. You can do so in the comments. Otherwise, send it to me on Twitter at John4Lakers and use hashtag AskTheBee. See you guys in the next video.